Hello, thank you for calling Hope for Cancer Treatment Centers. Our clinics are located in Mexico, where we have access to the best alternative cancer therapies from around the world. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance purposes. Please hold while we connect you with the next available member of our team. Hola, gracias por llamar a los centros de tratamiento Hope for Cancer. Nuestras clínicas están ubicadas en México, donde tenemos acceso a las mejores terapias alternativas contra el cáncer de todo el mundo. Esta llamada se puede monitorear y grabar con fines de garantía de calidad. Espere mientras lo conectamos con el próximo miembro disponible de nuestro equipo. Thank you for calling Hope for Cancer. This is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. This is Fiona O'Leary. I just got an email there from you. Um, you were trying to, I'm, I'm trying to talk to somebody um, in relation to coming to your clinic. Is it possible to speak to somebody now? I did um, try to talk to someone there last night. I just got an email now from you, the second. Okay. Let me see. Oh, is this Jasmine? No, this is Jennifer. Have you spoken to Jasmine? No, but like the email is from her. I just got it now, so if she's available, it would be great. Um, it's just I, I live in Ireland, so the time yeah. thing is different. It's just it's, it would be a good time for me now because um, of everything that's going on in my life, and I've got children. I don't know, is there anyone that I can speak to? Um, yeah, she is available. Let me, uh, let me put you on hold for just a moment. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Antonio Jimenez, Founder and Chief Medical Officer of Hope for Cancer Treatment Centers. I want to welcome you to Hope for Cancer. We're excited to partner with you in your healing journey. Hope for Cancer has been a leader in integrative oncology for the past 20 years. We started with the first clinic on the shores of the Pacific Coast in Tijuana, Mexico, and opened our second clinic in beautiful Cancun in 2015. We have treated thousands of patients just like you from all over the world, 70 countries in fact, and have seen great results with patients dealing with all types and stages of cancer. The difference at Hope for Cancer is how we look at cancer. First, we believe that cancer is not a death sentence. Hi, Fiona, this is Claudette. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Now, you're calling about your son, right, Fiona? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. What is his name? Because I want to switch it from you as a patient. His name is Dylan. Dylan? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Are you spelling that D-Y-L-A-N? Yes. Okay, hold on. Wait, I can't get through. Hold on. There was me one second. Let me put it in D-Y, okay. T-Y-L-A-M, and you are the mother. Yeah. So I can't you. And so he's 28 years old? Yeah. He has, he's, he's, okay. he, he's autistic, so he's on the autism spectrum as well. That's why I'm talking. He has a, a okay. dis he has a disability as well. He does. Yeah. Now, how how extreme is his autism? Is it's, he able to walk and talk? Well, yeah, he can he can walk and talk. He's he's fine. But I mean, you know, for communications, you know, I would be his voice, obviously, in relation to that. But he can communicate. Yeah. He has lymphoma. He has lymphoma. Stage two. When yeah. was he? He was just diagnosed September of last year. Yes, that's right. Okay. September of 2020. And has he had any treatment, any chemo, anything like that? He's had chemotherapy, yes. We're still kind of in the process of that as we speak. But I've been looking at your, your, your videos and, you know, it, I mean, Dr. Tony, um, he would have concerns about chemotherapy. That's correct, yes. Yeah. I mean, we're not... Chemo, chemo serves its per purpose sometimes, but there's many times that it's really, I mean... 
you could treat a lot of a lot of things alternatively without chemo, okay. especially since this is only a stage two. Is it still at stage two, or has it progressed? With the last scan, that was the scan we had in September. So he had a PET scan in December. It didn't indicate that it had spread. No. In December of twenty twenty. Yeah. I mean, have you okay. treated? Have you, he have? have you treated lymphoma patients before? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. And we do very well with lymphoma. And what kind of protocols? I mean, I've, I've watched your video today um, of the other doctor um, that did the tour. And it, it, like it spoke about um, ozone therapies and things like that. Like I would be following Lindsay's protocols on um, Instagram. Um, okay. Do, do you do do you offer GCMAF for, for lymphomas? I mean, I, I've read a lot about GCMAF, GCMAF. Yeah, we have it in our protocol. Okay. Um, what, uh, let me ask you a couple more things. Mm -hmm. And Dylan is 28. What is his height and weight? Hey, he's six foot three. And okay. he would be, he's he's put on a lot of weight actually because of the treatment from steroids and things. So he would be about 16 stone. 16, okay, let me convert that one moment. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm not very good at this. Okay. So, two pounds. Okay, so about two twenty four. Okay, that's not real bad for a guy. Well, he's a big, he's a big lad. Yeah, he's tall, but like, um, I think the the medicines, the steroids, especially, have given him a a false appetite. You know, it's um, it can happen with steroids, etc. Yeah. So, and it, can he go up and down stairs on his own? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine like that. Yeah. Okay. Restrictions. Where are the swollen lymph nodes? Are they on his neck, chest? They, they, it, it started in his neck. We saw like a lump, and uh, I think it's upper. It's not below his rib cage, so they're kind of upper. But it started in the neck area. Neck area. In the abdomen. Okay. All right. Okay. So let me tell you what we do here. Okay. And just know. Um, just know that we will require medical records mm -hmm. because our doctors have to review everybody before they come. Okay. Now, the way we work, and I'm going to give you a lot of info right now, Fiona, but everything I tell you will come in an email when we're done. Can I ask you a question? But like, how, 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 do I get, how do I get his medical records? Like, the, the, his, oncolo his oncologist would not support this. I know that. So how can I, how can I get his medical records from them? in relation to that you guys do you have in ireland um because a lot of us here in the states have where there's a a portal at the like the hospital that you can log into a patient portal no no <laughs> no definitely not no. i mean i i wouldn't i mean what happens in ireland is he has a doctor like a gp who would be aware of oh. this yeah but i mean to to get medical records it is not like um something that is easily done i mean um, I know that the hospital would not want this. I mean, they would be against this, which you'll probably understand yeah. because of big pharma and all that kind of thing. Um, so how, yeah. I mean, how does that work if you can't, I mean, I know his diagnosis, I know what it is. I mean, there's no... Um, well, I would, in order to get him into the Cancun clinic, because I'd like you guys to do Cancun, that's where Lindsay was, mm -hmm. um, I have... Can you just don't let them know what you're planning to do? Just say I need his records for my my file. Mm -hmm. I understand? Um, how how will I get them if they if they don't? Um, I mean, how how do I go about? How did Lindsay get her medical records then? I mean, or the, how does it work if your doctor doesn't support this? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to think how you can do it. I mean, you don't need to let them know what you're doing. You can just let them see if they'll release them to you. Say, I just need, I want to have his medical records on my file at home. And without okay. saying what you, you're going to do. Okay, like not tell them. Okay, yeah, I suppose I could try that. And um, so, like, what, what, what would involve then, I mean, once we get those, those for you? This is, and I'll let you know. 
So what we're going to do is like he'll come to, you guys will fly into Cancun. Mm -hmm. We will be at the airport to pick you folks up. Mm -hmm. You'll come with him. Mm -hmm. um, the hotel, it's at a hotel. So uh, we'll have the hotel and it's a very, very beautiful five-star resort. So you're not staying in a you know, bad place. It's a very beautiful resort. Mm -hmm. And it's across the street from the clinic. Okay. So what happens is um, we will pick him up every morning and I'll, I'll get usually we just take the patient but i'll have it i'll put in a request that you have to go with him okay um so we'll get get him to the clinic we'll run a whole lot of different testing our tests are um our tests we're going to try to figure out what caused this in his body because the difference with us is we try to find the root cause Mm -hmm. So we can treat the root cause as well as the symptoms, where in conventional, they only treat the symptoms. Mm -hmm. So they're not, it's going to come back and back. It's like, if you pull the weed from your yard, if you don't get it from the root, it's coming back. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll start him in on something called sonophotodynamic therapy, that's mm -hmm. light and sound, where we give him an activate, it goes under his tongue, it absorbs in his system, latches onto his cancer, and when it captures the cancer cells and we give it light and sound, then what happens is those cells turn into either healthy cells. We can, we can, it, it spins into, it oxidizes the cells. So then they either turn into healthy cells or we can try to disappear them all together, dissolve them. So we're killing off cancer cells and, and making bad cells into good cells. Then... We're going to start him in on the Sunni Vera and Salvis. So the Sunni Vera is the one that has a DC map in it. And so what, what is that again? Of, so could you repeat that? You start him on what? What is that? Sunni Vera. S U N I V E R A. Oh, can I just? I just want to write that down. Sorry, Sunni Vera. I'll send it to you. Yeah. I'll send it to you. And it, is, 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 is that GC math uh, product? Yes. Yes, yeah, but we, we don't really mention that name much because we're not really, it's not something we talk about, but it's part of our protocol, so it's in there. And is that by, that is the injectable GC enough, the good one, yeah? Yes, absolutely. And, where, where, do where do you get your G, where do you get it from? Do you get it from Japan? I know there's Japan. a... Japan. Okay. Japan. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And how much GC enough would he have then, do you think? I don't know at this point. This is determined all at the clinic after his testing. They'll know. Okay. Um, but I know he'll have it at the clinic, and then he'll take three months of it home with him. Okay. And then he'll take home three months of the salvis, which is the other immunotherapy. So what we want to do here, Fiona, is activate his immune system so his body can recognize the malformation, and his body can start attacking the cancer naturally. Okay. So we're going to get that immune system up and running. He will also do hyperthermia. Yes, is, that, hyper is that where they raise the body temperature? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And is that and is that is that is that unpleasant then, or what does it feel like? Or no, no, they make it comfortable. They do it very slowly to the point if they you know if it gets too uncomfortable, they don't raise it anymore. Okay. But they have to get it to a temperature where we're going to kill off cancer cells through the heat. Okay. And it doesn't okay. like, is that like a fever then? Would you like, would, would it be like having a yeah, fever? Yeah, just like getting a fever, yeah. Okay. It's, we're kind of inducing the fever because the cancer doesn't live in the heat. Okay. Um, okay, and yeah, no, I'm, I'm listening. And, and, and then what else would we have, um, product? Hyperbaric chamber, yeah. that's the oxygen chamber. Okay. Um, and then the ozone, he'll have ozone, he'll have blood ozone, he'll have oral ozone, he'll have... Um, PEMF, the pulse electric magnetic frequency. What You'll is what is the, what is oral, what is the ozone again? What 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 does that entail? Ozone ozone is going to help oxygenate the blood. Okay. And oxygen yeah, we're going to give him a lot of different ways to oxygenate the blood. Um, do you do you do you do you do MMS at all? I've been reading a lot about MMS, chlorine dioxide. We do. You do MMS. Enemas, yeah, coffee enemas. No, 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 it's, I mean, no, it's M MMS, it's called Miracle Mineral Solution, it's chlorine dioxide. Oh, oh, no, no, we don't do that one, I'm sorry, I thought you said enemas. Yeah, yeah, but what kind of enemas do, do, does he have then, coffee or other ones, or? Coffee, it'll be coffee enemas. Okay. Um, plus the hydrocolonics, because we want to cleanse his extremities, you know, his, 
his lower extremities. We want to cleanse the bile duct. We want to because a lot of fecal matter stays in the intestines and causes issues in the body, and especially and that's the stuff that goes into the lymph nodes. Okay. So we want to cleanse and detoxify. He also has some lymphatic massage to cleanse the lymphatic system. Okay. Um, he'll also have um, emotional work. Mm-hmm. Where he'll work with the doctor on the emotional side of the cancer. Mm-hmm. Um, and the doctor there is so gentle and sweet. She's a she's such a nice person. I mean, he'll you guys will love her. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have a nutritionist work with you guys to put together the best diet for him. Okay. And then, and then we'll do, we're going to do a lot of other, over 200 therapies and repetition while he's here. Okay. And the cost of this program includes the three weeks. It includes a home program. So you'll take with you the Sono machine mm-hmm. with one year of Activate. That goes with you to continue. Mm-hmm. You'll take three months of each of the other treatments. The GC Muff. The GC Muff, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then. In three months, if you guys, you know, can come back to us, we'd like him to come back for a follow-up visit. Mm-hmm. And then we run all his testing again. Okay. And if you'd like, you can come back it again in another six or nine months and do the testing again. So we're staying, you know, we're staying in touch. If not, you can send medical records to us, and our doctor is here, can take a look at everything remotely yep. and see, you know, what he needs and what he doesn't need and what he should continue. Um, so this program... The, everything that I said, the mm-hmm. three weeks stay, the return, the take home, is at forty-two thousand six hundred and sixty US. Okay, and is is that include my my staying at the hotel as well? Yes, ma'am. That's you and your that's your meals. That's everything is covered completely for you guys. Okay, and um, you don't know what that is in euros by any chance? Roughly. Um, I can convert it. Thank Let's take you. Take a look. Mm-hmm. So four 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 forty two six eighty um dollars to you. So in euro mm-hmm. it sound it's three hundred and sixty six thousand fifty three hundred and sixty six thousand euros, yes. Yeah. I'm just writing this down. That's um, and is that and that's for that's the that, right? that's for everything like the, the the products at home and everything yes yes that's everything okay so three hundred and sixty six thousand for the whole thing yes yes ma'am okay mm-hmm. and can you can you email all this information to me Claudette as well so I have it for my husband in written form yes you should have it in about um within the hour if not sooner. Somebody will get it out to you, and then you just, you know, stay in touch with me and let me know if you guys, you know, and work on those medical records. Just tell the doctor you want a copy, um, you want to look just, at okay, it Okay, just whatever. for my own personal, okay. yeah, I don't mention this. I mean, do you, have, do, you, do you have problems, like, with patients and their oncologists not wanting this because, you know, they don't support it? I mean, would you have problems like that? Sometimes some people have some difficulties from different places, but for the most part, I mean, it's not a, not an issue. Okay, and how how many Irish people would you have there at the moment? I mean, it's great because you know to have that kind of um, you know solidarity. Summer yeah. yeah. Would you have many Irish Let me think a minute. Is that, Usually in Cancun, I can get you from one week to the next. Okay. So if you tell me, okay, I can come next week, hmm. then I'll, you know, I can figure, you know, we can work you in. How many people um, would but, you have, like, at a time? How many people would you have in the clinic? Well, right now, there's like, right now, there's like 25, but we really try to keep it at like 20. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah, because a lot then. And, and and is it is the Cancun clinic the same as size as the one in Tijuana? Or are they the same capacity? No, there. Tijuana can take really no more than twenty. There's only twenty rooms there. Okay. But in Cancun, because it's outpatient, um, we you know we have more capacity there. Okay. And what about the infusions? I I forgot to mention them. Would he have the the B17, the lactural? Would that be given to him? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. B17 
seventeen and the um, vitamin C infusion. Okay, and what about the, the 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 diet then? He would obviously be on a very clean diet all the time. Is that recommended? Absolutely. Okay. He'll be on a gluten free, organic, pescatarian diet. Okay, no meat at all then, no. No, we try to keep him more on fish. Mhm. Okay, and does Dr. Tony ever do phone calls? Like, I mean, how, is Dr. Tony in charge? Of, would he be in charge of my son's um, program? It would be him, yes. Well, Dr. Tony will be there working with patients mm -hmm. um, towards the end of March, May, I mean. Mm -hmm. So if you guys come like mid May, yeah. then you will have a consultation with him. Okay. And what about COVID tests? How do you work all that? Do we have to get tested or how does that work? You may have to be tested before you leave Ireland, mm -hmm. um, but it, when you leave Mexico, we will test you. Okay. And um, have you had any problems with COVID, like with people traveling or? Nobody. Nobody's had COVID with us. Okay. Especially, I mean, we're the best place to be at when you have COVID because um, if, if COVID should come around or try to get in his system, all everything that we're doing, like, will kill off the virus. Like all the, the protocols and everything, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. all the heat and all the cleansing and all of that, it's going to, it'll be really good for him. And what about, um, and I really appreciate your time, what kind of scans do you do, like, to see if he's improving? Does it, Will he have many tests there? Like, how does that work? Yeah. You know, when he arrives, we'll do a whole series of testing. Like, we're going to do blood and we're going to do urine and we're going to do ultrasounds and High resolution color dopplers and all and thermographies and biofeedback. We don't do any toxic testing. Okay. So we'll test him at his arrival and we'll test him at his departure. So, so we can what what kind of scans do you, you you wouldn't be doing PET scans then at all? Or we like... don't do anything toxic. So no PET scans, no CT scans. Okay. But if you happen to get them at home, you can always send them. If you can get them, send mm -hmm. them to us or... for treatment. Like yeah, just... we have. Okay. Now, is he able to speak at all? Oh, he can talk. Yeah, he can talk. There's no problem with that. Okay. But um, I mean, he's, he's different yeah. autism. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he can speak. And would you have many children coming to the clinic then? Uh, well, he's 28, right? Yeah, I know, but he's still my child, I suppose. You know, he would be... Yeah, I know. He, yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. have you treated we, children there, I suppose, as, uh, as well? Like, we do. Okay. We've treated, um, we, we can only take patients nowadays over the age of 16 and we do get them. In fact, I've got a couple at the clinic in their 20s right now in Tijuana. Okay. And, and are you are you, are you you like a nurse, Claudette, or what's your role there? Do you just... I'm a patient counselor. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. But I, I work with very close with the doctors. I've been here for many years, so I'm very familiar with all of this. Okay. And... Um... There's, I mean, it's the, you don't get in trouble. I mean, so I mean, I know I've I've read about GCMAF and the the kind of the the legality of it. You know, there's a lot of um, I suppose controversy. controversy. I mean, how do you, that competes, yeah. how do you get around the angle of you know of that you know giving GCMAF if if, if it's not allowed? I mean, is is it okay? How do you do that? It's okay in Mexico. Yeah, but um, I mean, bringing it home, I suppose, bringing it back to Ireland, like, right. I, I know, yeah, 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 how, yeah, how do I, how do I, how, how do I, how do I, how do I bring that home? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to explain that to you. Okay. Now, when you leave, we give you a prescription. We don't name it GC Map when you travel, so nobody knows what it is. Okay. It's our treatment. Yeah. And how do I get it, though? Do I have, but do I have that prescription you you give that supply to me. I don't have to get it when I come home. No, no, no. Hello? Hi, is, is that Hope for Cancer? It is. Who am I speaking with? Sorry. Yeah, hi, this is uh, Fiona O'Leary. I spoke to Claudette yesterday. Is that Claudette? Oh, yes, Fiona. How are you? I'm I'm not too bad, Claudette. Yeah. Um I just I just got your email there a while ago and um sorry I was busy there, I didn't have a chance to did you try and call me? Yeah, we did. We called several times trying to reach you. It's I don't know why I don't know why it's not working. It's very weird. But um yeah, look, I'm um wondering if you can send me more information about everything. I'm trying to get access to his medical records and um I suppose I just want to. I have a few concerns um, regarding the GC Math product. 
Um, and, you know, I've just been reading a few things that have worried me online. I mean, can you can you give me some kind of um, reassurance with that? There's a lot of stuff there on, on the Internet that I was looking at today with my husband. Well, let me, let me tell you this. A lot of the governments put out false advertising on, like, land trails, UC maps, because they don't want people to use it. They want, and that was, that was given to me by a gentleman that knows somebody in our government, and he said that they are, they post, say, you know, uh, fraudulent articles that just intentionally scare people away. We've been using it for many years. It's been around over 50 or 60 years. And it's been very effective. So when something lasts that long, they want to do everything that they can to that. But do you, do you have you have you heard of David Noakes, this guy that was selling it in England, first immune? He was selling GCMF. They they jailed him in England. Are you aware of that at all? Right. Um, they jailed a lot of people for using it. I mean, doctors that prescribed it, but Mexico allows us, so we we don't have a problem with it. Okay, yeah, I, I know. We yeah, don't label it. we don't label it that way. You label it, you label it this, the son of error. Yes, the name son of error. I get you. Yeah, exactly. But how, how, how will I? I mean, I mean, in, in Ireland, where I'm living, like, um, the authorities have banned that product because there's actually warnings on their website. I don't know if you know that. Like, I mean, I suppose going through customs, how many stops do I make, like, coming back from Mexico? Do you know? Well, no, it depends on the flight that you book. I know, but, um, but I am... Um, yeah. yeah, many... Many different flights that you can take. But how do I put, how do I how do I how, how do I put the I mean my main concern is how I'm going to get GC Math through the airport because you know they even check the water going on a plane. Okay. Yeah. Let me. You'll have a prescription. It won't be labeled as GC Math. Mm -hmm. We have patients that come from all over the world that take it and never have a problem. So we're not concerned with it at all. But how do I bring it on the plane? Like it is a liquid. Does it go through like the the scanning machine? Do they do they not ask questions? Or? No, it, it'll go. You'll probably pack it in your luggage and check it in. Okay, like not the hand luggage going on the plane. You mean? No. Yeah. And what? And what but I mean, it, I know. But you have to have that in a refrigerator. Like how how is it how is it packed with a cold thing? Yeah, they'll pack it on dry ice. But would that not melt by the time I get to Ireland then? No, it goes, I think, 24 hours. And what do I do when I get home then? I put it in the fridge, yeah? Yeah, you just put it in the fridge. They'll direct you on everything. And how many injections do I give my son a day with GCMF? And is it one or two, or does it vary? Well, everybody, yeah, I don't know. It varies, cause, and that's determined after he's be, you know, seen at the clinic. And the doctors direct you on everything. Dr. Tony. Um, if you get there if by May 24th, you'll see Dr. Tony. But he'll have his own doctor assigned to him. Okay. There's another thing I wanted to bring up there, actually. How long have you been working there yourself, Claudette, at the clinic? Well, about eight years. So are you aware of the documentary called Cancer Cell? That's on Al Jiraz. Did you see that documentary at all? No. What is it called? Cancer Cell? Yeah, well, they went to Mexico and they did like um, undercover stories and clinics and, and they interviewed uh, Tony, Dr. Tony. I think her name was Sarah. Is this the, Sarah, is that the Al Jazeera one? Yes, yeah, Sarah McDonald is the girl, I think. Yes, that's yeah. right. You know, I thought that was removed. I'm surprised it's still there because we actually fought that one because she what she did is she edited it and clipped it and she changed the wording on everything. And the judges found it to be illegal what she did because they did that. And I, I didn't know that was still out there. No, it is. I actually watched it this morning. It, it kind of concerned me because it went yeah. into, it, it, Were you there when Sarah went there then? I came right after that. Okay. And... Yeah, it's a completely different place now. Chris, let me see. It's a completely, I mean, that was years ago, and everything has upgraded. Everything's completely different, but that, that was really good. It was, well, was it was actually, that time. was 20, 2012, that documentary actually was, yeah. Yeah, I, I came here around 2013-ish. 
Okay. Um, yeah, it was just that you know she was saying that there was no um, statistics of people being cured. Like, have you got that on? Can you show them to me, like the cases? It's on our website. It's on our website. What is? The statistics. Can we you... now post. Um, we never kept statistics before because the alternative world is not like the regular medical world. The alternative world, you know, people go home and sometimes we don't keep in touch where the regular medical world, and, you know, they keep in touch and they put everything on the computer and everybody sees it. This is different. So, but then we started following a group of patients mm -hmm. um, that were, you know, that we've done a study on. So an outside group of doctors is doing a study and that's on our website. Okay. So, um, so, 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 so basically GCMAF is, is allowed in Mexico by the authorities. Yeah. Uh-huh. Und, under the name GCMAF or under the name SUNY Vera? I, you know, honestly, I don't know, to be honest. That, and who, that who, part, who, 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 yeah, yeah, but who coined the name SUNY Vera? Was that yourselves? Is that like your own way to combat the authorities or? <laughs> No, well, it's not really to combat authorities. We just, if we well, it's illegal. I mean, this, this this is an illegal drug. I mean, that's evident, as you know. It's illegal in America. It's illegal in England. Everything yeah. is illegal. Everything well, no, well, no, it, no, it's not actually. GC Math. I mean, there's so much, um, there's so much, you know, information out there about that. The BBC have done a lot of documentaries as well. I mean, I'm I'm just wondering how how you are allowing to um or how you how you can actually ship this drug into england ireland and other countries without it being questioned it, it kind of concerns me because it's illegal well again we've had many I, I know that, but I mean, I mean, I mean, sorry, but again, but you have to be more like this is a lot of money. You're asking, you're asking, you're asking for forty thousand pounds of me for my son. I can, I can take it out of his protocol. No, 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 no. I mean, no, no. It's part of the protocol for everyone because I've seen the protocol is the same for every patient there, isn't it? Basically. No. Yes, it is. Because no. I see, I see on the internet. I see, I see it all be the same. How? Sorry, how can everyone's protocol be the same for different types of cancer? My son doesn't have breast cancer. He's got lymphoma. Just wondering about that. How you kind of have a one size fits all protocol for everybody? Well, if it was a blood cancer, it'd be different. You, you see, you see, you see. Now, listen to me now, Claudette, and I want you to listen to me. You're not a nurse. You're not a professional. What you're doing is experimenting on cancer patients for profit with unregulated, unproven and dangerous illegal products. And I have set you up better than Sarah McDonald's.